is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new episode of Thinking Outside the Box. Been trying to get an episode of this up for a very long time. Like, I know a lot of people have been waiting on this new episode, and the reason is because you guys can see all the different bodies that we use. These are the bodies that usually go in the Thinking Outside the Box box. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll go ahead and showcase it. So over here, this is the Thinking Outside the Box box. You got some, like, random fodder down in there and just random parts and stuff. So this is the big box that we use usually use and so all of these bodies over here typically go inside that box and if you guys have never watched this series before we pretty much have all these bodies that have missing parts so missing legs missing arms missing head sculpts missing lower legs missing feet you know any figure that is missing parts we put it into this big box over here it's the thinking outside the box box and then the goal of this series is to take a few figures out of the box try to pair them with some fodder inside of my fodder boxes which are over there on the floor that have a bunch of WWE figure parts in them. Heads, arms, legs, knee pads, boots, all, you name it, all of it's down there. Got five separate ones. Honestly, need another one, but we pair the two together. We take these pieces, put them together with those pieces, try to create custom, unique looking superstars, and then move them over into my other box, which is overflowing, or put them on their respective shelves depending on what the character is. If it's Seth Rollins, if it's Undertaker, if it's Finn Balor, that's where they will go. But here is the shelves, and that, that's the whole goal. We're trying to clear out that box. The issue with that. The issue that I face when trying to do these episodes is I try, I, I don't want to just put random parts on these guys. You know how easy it would be to just be like, okay, give me this, give me this guy, give me this guy, put random parts on it, get him in the box. That'd be really easy. The tough, challenging part is trying to look at the guys and then trying to think of a cool attire or a cool, you know, fantasy gear or a new creative superstar or something like that. That is the challenge that we face when doing these videos. So that is the reason why I don't pump these out near as, you know, I do with the, you know, action figure appointment or surgery because I'm constantly thinking of fix-ups and constantly thinking of surgery and custom that I want to do, and that's why those episodes go up faster than thinking outside the box. Thinking outside the box requires thinking outside the box, so that's what I try to do the best. And today, guys, I really am stumped. I can't think of a John Brown thing, and I've been staring at this since like 8 a.m., trying to think of what I can do, and the only thing that I can come up with is something with this Matt Riddle down here. You guys can see this is my older Matt Riddle. You know, we used to have the, you know, the custom Elite Matt Riddle, I ended up taking off his feet, you know, from the UFC figure, put them on my Orange Cassidy, so he's been, uh, you know, distributed over to the Thinking Outside the Box box, and his official Elite is over on the shelf now, so I don't need the custom, so yeah. And uh, the idea that I had already required me to etch off his tattoo, so I did that a while ago. I, I scratched off his mushroom tattoo right there, so he is ready to go for whatever I want to do. I have an idea that I want to do. It's going to be like a fantasy attire, sort of like putting a bunch of parts together to create a Seth Rollins. Rollins fantasy attire that, you know, will go into our other collection of Seth Rollins fantasy attires, but besides that, I really, I cannot think of a John Brown thing, bro. I cannot think of anything off the top of my head. I know I have Seth Rollins fodder that I can put together with that Matt Riddle, but as far as the rest of them go, I'm just, I'm just drawing blanks, man. I mean, like, I could put kick pads on this guy. I could put random boots on a certain guy, but that doesn't, that's not what we want to see. We want to see unique stuff put in together, thrown in together, and created. That's the whole point of the series, and I'm just not getting that right now, so I don't want to just force something for no reason. I would say for you guys to let me know some ideas, but you don't, you don't all know what I have in my fodder box, so I have to take out my fodder box, put it together with these things, and kind of, you know, like, mix and match, and choose and, and figure out what the hell I can do, and I'm just drawing blanks, man. So I don't know. Anyways, I guess what I'm gonna do is just take this Matt Riddle fodder right here, and we're gonna create this custom Seth Rollins out of it, and I think it'll still be a pretty cool look for him, but before we get into that, we gotta get the fodder boxes out, and we gotta to see what all we can pair with it and put it together with because I have an idea in my head. So let's go ahead, shut the hell up, and move on to the next part of the Thinking Outside the Box episode. All right, so the first order of business is going to be getting all these pieces of S back in their box here. And I don't typically like to just, you know, just grab and throw them in there. So I may just do a little scoop method or a scratch method where I just take them and plunge them into the box. This Umaga figure is a god, by the way. I had to use his arms for a custom, but I need to get that back in the collection. Just F it. All 
Another thing I was gonna say is I could use this, but the little shoulder over here is loosey-goosey. Like, look at that right there. Nobody wants this. Sick-ass fantasy attire for Kenny Omega. Nobody liked it. I loved it. Omega logo on the left butt cheek. One-winged angel over here. It's supposed to be, like, airbrushed with gold and black. And then you have the Kenny Omega with the finger pointing with another Omega logo. Sick attire, bro. Nobody appreciated it. Now let's get to work. That was louder than I thought. But anyways, guys, here is the Seth Rollins box over here, and then we have the uh, the lower body parts over here because I don't think I'm going to need any other boxes. Like I said, I have a ton of Seth Rollins fodder over here. So basically, this is all of my interchangeable hands, which need to be organized, by the way. I know these are gloved hands, and these are Jeff Hardy hands, and I think these are taped hands, but you see taped hands over here, and then there's just a bunch of mixed match of hands over here and over here. So, I mean, it just, it just, I need a whole fodder box just for hands and each specific skin tone is what I need to do. But anyways, for the Seth Rollins fodder body, we're going to need these specific legs right here because I know that we want to switch out the thighs and give him the long tights. So we got, we got let's take a look at our Matt Riddle again. You guys can see here, this is what we got. So I'm going to switch out these thighs right here. This is an Elite 45 Seth Rollins base. He even still has the tattoo on the back that I never removed. I'm kind of glad I never did that. So now we're going to switch out these thighs for these white thighs down here and that will work out absolutely beautiful. From there, we are going to need some knee pads. So we're going to go over here to the knee pad section and I already see not only the knee pads, but I see the head sculpt. I think these two knee pads right here in the black and gold dropped one. So here are the knee pads, the black and gold from the Toys R Us cash in exclusive. We're going to put those knee pads on the guy. We're also going to need some arms for the guy because I don't want the bare arms. So we're going to go right here to the arm section and we're going to grab, I would like the SR ones to be honest with you. I think, I think I want to do the SR ones, but I'm not exactly sure if I want to do the SR SR ones because we're going to have some gold in there. I'm going to go with the plain black for now and we could switch it out later. So yeah, I think we're just going to roll with these for now. We could switch it out at a later date. And then we do need a head sculpt and since I already used all those other ones on action figure surgery, we are going to use the top talents head sculpt with the smirk. I think this will work out perfectly. So here's our little collection of fodder so far. Got the riddle, the knee pads, the thighs, the arms and the head sculpt. All we need now are some lower legs and for that we're going to go over here to the lower body section and this is where I keep my lower legs connected to kick pads and we have two different options here we could use these which i think used to be elite 45 rollins but then i had to paint over this and everything like that so uh this is painted right here i feel like it'll just chip off anyway so i think i'm gonna go with these two legs because these have this is molded this way when you gotta worry about it chipping but this has like some paint weirdness going on it has like some stripping on it or something where i tried to acetone it off and it didn't completely come off so i'll probably have to solve that at a later date but these are the lower legs i think we're gonna roll with. So there we go. I think we are ready for our completion, guys. So let's go to the backstage area, see if we can do it. We're going to try to do it all in one take. Actually, no, we're not. The hell you are, Brad. Are you on crack cocaine methamphetamine? You think you're going to get all that? You got to get the upper body and the lower body? If I had hot water, I could just throw it all the ish in the hot water. But I don't have the hot water, Brad. I have a hair dryer. So we're effed. You know what? Forget it. I'll see you guys in the backstage area. God, I left a crack. All right, guys, here we are in the backstage area. What we're going to do is I guess we can heat up the, the upper body first. Don't you think that makes sense? I feel like that makes the most sense. We're going to heat up the Matt Riddle head sculpt and the arms and the Seth Rollins arms and the Seth Rollins head sculpt. And then we'll try to do all the... Oh, my God in heaven. I just forgot. We, do, we don't have any boots for this guy. All right, we got them. These are the shorter kick pad boots that we'll plug into these lower legs. So that will be perfect. You know, they're just the solid black ones. I think we're going to have ourselves a pretty fine attire rhyme intentional there so let's go ahead and get this set up i got the white trusty hair dryer in the house for the business so we're gonna get this going uh lower body parts can go over there for now no one needs you right now get out of my face so we're gonna go over here with that and then we're going to heat up the arms portion and the upper body portion then we'll come back and hit the lower body portion and all of that good jazz so uh this ah uh, man what do you think i feel like maybe heating up the, the top of the head like this and then putting the arms like that that, and then other arm like that and then the head sculpt like right right in here or maybe like that I just wanted to heat up that Matt Riddle head sculpt man that's the main issue
All right, I actually left it on there way too damn long, to be honest with you guys. You probably won't know, oh, my Lord and Lantern, holy Christ. Uh, you guys probably won't know it because I'll probably speed up the time lapse, but oh my Jesus in heaven and God, that was so hot. But the arms came off good, and I love these bear arms. The Ric Flair, Target, Hall of Fame, whatever the hell you want to call it, arms from the four pack, from the four horsemen, or whatever that was, 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 ha, ah, God in heaven. That's always the best right there, man. When you get up under there, you get the you can you like put your thumb up under there and get your thumbnail on the actual neck peg hole or the head peg hole or the neck peg hole or the keg peg hole. Bam. Look at him. His leg fell off already, so I didn't even need to heat that up. Look at that. Maybe, you know what? Oh my oh my god in heaven. Are we are we about to are we about to do it without even trying? That would be absurd, by the way. Doesn't that go on the outside? No, this goes right here. That ain't going on. You thought, Brad. Alright. I didn't, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect nothing. So now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get this in position. We're going to keep the knee pads out of the... You know what, actually? I got a knee... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do it this way. We got to do it this way. It's the only way. The only way. Actually, make sure you put it on the right leg, though, fool. This is the right leg, so we need the right knee pad. Christ, I don't... I don't know. All right, here's the right one. So right leg, right knee pad. Come back over here. Left leg, left knee pad. That's how it works, right? Left sock, right sock. Left shoe, right shoe. So heat this up while heating these up while heating this up while heating these up i don't want to heat it up too long though because i don't want to like completely you know I, like if it heats up too long we could end up like welding the john brown knee pad to the leg itself because that's like a different material you know it's like a softer rubbery type plastic deal anyways let's go ahead and hit this I did it again, Brad. I did it again. I'm pretty sure I heated this up for way too long. And the knee pad, I swear to Jesus, is going to just become one with the with the freaking leg here before it even slides down. But I think this is the way it's supposed to go. I think this is the left side. Yes, this is the left side, but I can't even grab the John Brown thing because it's so hot. Oh, God. Oh! All right, it plugged in. Jesus in heaven. Is that right? I think that's right. Other leg plugged in. Now we got to get the... Uh, let's see if we can just pop this off first. Got that. What leg is this? The right right leg with the right boot is what we want. Bam. Then the other side. You know what I just realized? We don't have pegs, Brad. There are no pegs here. How do you connect that with no pegs? Ugh. Luckily, Dr. Whitecus is very quick with his assessment was able to process what was happening and got on it with the pegs. Is it still gonna be hot enough to push through? We're gonna find out together. There's the one peg, gotta get the other peg. And I gotta eyeball it and make sure they're the same length. Those are too long. That one's kind of worky. I think this one could work. Pulling it out of the baggie. Running out of time. Running out of time. We're gonna lose them. I tried to just shove this peg straight through like a madness. But we actually got it. Oh my god. Can we get the other side though? Can we get the other side? I see a lot of people in my comment section tell me to do it this way. But I don't really prefer to do it this way. Because it's usually not nearly as easy as that one just was. Because see it won't push through sometimes. And you run into walls. And then you gotta. Like I like to grab right here. Pull back with my left index finger. And then push it through with my thumb. And sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. Depending on the heat. Depending on you know if Dr. White kiss is on top of his game and it's not pushing through yeah it's so close brad and i got it all right so we didn't even need the john brown thing why the kiss was so quick on his feet we were able to get the rollins lower legs attached without even having pegs present at time of surgery now that's pretty blessed impressive but anyways guys let's take a look at this rollins right quick the legs are still loosey-goosey so i'll see you guys when they're not loosey-goosey all right guys here is the rollins in all of its glory now one thing that will be present is there's no SR logo on the uh, crotch piece right here which is kind of bummy. If it had a belt on it, it would probably look better too. But it's not bad, you know? I kind of like it. You got the black wrist tape tying into the black in the knee pads, in the kick pads. You got the gold accents. If these kick pads had gold accents on them, or maybe these, uh, you know, these trunks or something had some black integrated in them somehow, I still think it would probably look better, obviously. And if this figure had chest hair. I, I like the chest hair on my Rollins, all right? I like my Rollins to be a little hunky. But yes, this is the Rollins in all of its glory. Doing a little 
360 mode right there, but it turned out all right. You know, I, I really wanted to get more in this episode, but I'm still struggling to figure out what I got to do. And I wanted to still do a thinking outside the box. And that was the only one that I could think of for today. But I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Anyways, if you did, please leave me a like and a comment down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. I'll try my best to think of more as, you know, I look at the box. I try to look at the box. I, I look at the box probably every other day. You know, I don't look at it every day because you look at it every day. Then you're going to start getting trippy, man. You, you don't want to spend too much time on it or you're going to burn out. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go film some vindication before you guys cut my legs off. I'm hoping to have it up in the next three or four days. That's literally what I've been trying to do. But let's go ahead and put Rollins up on the shelf. That was literally the last spot, guys. That was the last spot between the Rollins and the Undertaker. So now we're like wall to wall with this ish. Undertaker into Rollins, and then there's like 852 Rollins. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the Thinking Outside the Box. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.